Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we're gonna be doing a review of Static Nails and specifically their reusable pop-on manicure. So I feel like I haven't really talked much about nails on this channel. So you guys may not know that I am nail obsessed. I have been obsessed with nail polish ever since I was little. My mom always used to get so mad at me because I would repaint my nails almost every single day and just have like nail polish and remover everywhere. I love nail polish and I discovered Static Nails. I think I was getting ads for them maybe like six months ago and I've been stalking their website ever since but never ended up purchasing anything because the nail polish is not the most affordable of all time. So I was like, uh, I don't know. But their colors and the packaging and everything looks amazing. So I actually decided that I wanted to start off with their reusable press-on manicure because I have been recently introduced to press-on nails, stick-on nails, glue-on nails since I'm not going to nail salons right now. And I have had the hardest time trying to get my natural nails to grow out long and strong. They'll grow long and then they'll flake and break and crack and just, it's been the worst. So I'm on a nail growth journey and acrylics, gels, what else? Dip powder, all of those types of manicures destroy my nails because they already are naturally really flimsy and weak to begin with. So I wanted to test these out because I'm hoping that they can help me to grow my nails longer. Yes, I have to put nail glue on them, but I'm hoping it'll be better than something like acrylic. So if you wanna hear my thoughts on these press on nails, if they are worth the money and you also wanna see how to apply them, I'll show you guys application clips and kind of the whole manicure process. So you're in the right spot, let's jump right into it. So these nails retail for $16 and you actually are able to reuse them if you want to, which makes that price point more worth it. And they have so many amazing colors. Holy crap. I did try out the Impress Press On Manicure and it was pretty good. Their color selection is not good though and they have a lot of just like kind of funky accent nails and just things that I am not interested in. I am such a neutrals kind of girl, beiges and pinks and nudes and I couldn't find anything like that in the Impress range. So I went back to the Static Nails website and was like, oh, these colors are perfect, screaming my name. So the color that I have on my hand now is called Nudist. Such a beautiful, just like light pinky beige. I also picked up Nearly Nylon, which is also a nude, but has more of a peachy warm undertone to it. And then the last one I grabbed is called Toasted Sugar, which is more of, what would we call you? A grayish. It's like a mix between a gray and a brown. Super, super pretty. I did test these out for the first time on camera for you guys. So I recorded the whole prep process, how I applied them. I also show you guys some of the issues that I had with application and the final results. So we will roll footage here and I will just include a voiceover of that entire process so that you can see exactly how to apply these. Welcome to my at-home nail salon. As you can see, it's very fancy, very elevated, just a high-end experience overall. <laughs> Kidding, obviously. So here I'm just soaking my hands in warm water so that I can go ahead and clip away that dead skin. I am using just a metal nail clipper for this, but I actually don't use this for my cuticles just to pick away any dead skin slash hangnails that are ready to come right off. I'm careful not to pull or tug on this area because I don't want to damage the skin around my nails. I just want to get rid of, you know, what doesn't need to be there anymore. Then I use this Sally Hansen cuticle dissolver. I've been obsessed with it. All I do is rub it onto the cuticles on each of my fingers. And then I use a cuticle pusher to push the cuticles back. And it also just kind of sloughs away anything that is dead skin. And again, it doesn't need to be there anymore. I typically avoid acetone-based nail polish remover, but in this case, I decided to use it so that my nails were dehydrated and had a really nice base for the glue to stick to. 
And as one more step to help that glue to adhere to my nail for as long as possible, I gave them a quick buff with this nail file. I was careful not to be too rough with this and really just lightly buffed the top surface. On Static Nail's website, they recommend putting nail glue on both the fake nail and your actual nail. So I took the glue that they provided and did just that. They basically said the more glue that you use, the longer it will last. So I went in with a generous amount of glue on both the artificial nail and my real nail. As you can see here, this is what the glue looks like. Nothing fancy, just your average nail glue. When applying the glue to my actual nail, I wasn't too precise, but did try to make sure to get it evenly spread across my entire nail, with the primary focus being the center and base of my nail, not so much the top. Then it was time to pop on that artificial nail, so I just made sure to align it as straight as possible to my actual nail and actually use it to push back my cuticle even further. And then as you can see here, I was kind of having trouble with the glue sticking to my fingers, but I made it work. And then I went ahead and applied pressure on the nail and just held it down for 25 to 30 seconds, which is what Static Nails recommends. I made sure to apply the pressure towards the center of the nail and just all over the base of the nail as much as I could instead of focusing on the edges or sides because that can kind of cause an air bubble to form in the center and then it won't stick to your nail as well. So I really tried to make sure I was just evenly pressing my thumb against the entire nail bed. Is that what that's called? The nail bed? Clearly I'm not a nail expert here. And then after those 25, 30 seconds, you're good to go. So honestly, very straightforward, very easy to actually press down that nail. I'm just taking extra precautions here. And then you can see we have the final result, which turned out really nice. Then I went ahead with the rest of my fingers and as I was doing this, I just started to realize that I felt like I couldn't find a perfect match for most of my nails, unfortunately. I definitely have small fingers and small nails, but even still, I felt like the nails that were included in the kit were just really, really large. I showed my friends too and they agreed, so it wasn't just me. So I do wish that they had more options for those mid-range nail sizes. So pointer finger, middle finger, index finger, that would be great if there were some smaller options available there because I just feel like some of them looked a little bit too big which makes it more obvious that they are press-on nails. And then aside from that, the only other issue that I had was during this application process, as I got to some of the smaller nails, I started to have issues with my fingers sticking to the glue and then I would try to have to act really fast to pull the nail off of my finger and I did start to just get glue on the actual tops of the nails and the bottom of my fingers which I will show you here once this clip is done I mean it's definitely noticeable so there is the final result you can see the glue that I was talking about it's pretty obvious on some of the fingers unfortunately when you're up close like this it's not something you can see from just a normal distance so it's just basically something I notice but then there you can see there's quite a bit of glue on the base of my fingers so I tried to just remove it with that acetone based nail polish remover and these cotton pads I honestly didn't really have any luck with that so what I did is actually take that nail file to buff the glue off off. So I'm not buffing my skin away here. I'm just focusing on the areas that have glue. This worked a little bit better for me. I felt like I was able to get more glue off, but not all of it. It pretty much just took a couple days of washing my hands for that residue to be fully removed on my fingers. And I made the bold decision to try to use that acetone on the actual nails as well. And thankfully it didn't remove any of the shine or the color from the nail. I did just have a really hard time getting that glue off. So you can see here for the final result, it's definitely an improvement. Looking really closely, I could still see glue on the actual nail, but it was definitely less noticeable. And again, as the days went on and I continued to wash my hands, I noticed that the glue started to fade away a little bit, but never completely. So it wasn't perfect, but it definitely isn't something that I feel like other people would notice. It's just something that I noticed and that you may notice on yourself. So as time has gone on with that manicure, I was hoping that some of that glue that stuck to the nails would start to fade away, even though I know it's like a full on glue. It's not just gonna disappear, but the nail glue is still there, unfortunately. So it still is not perfect. I'll show you guys kind of where I'm at. There's really no difference. It's fully off my fingers. 
the backs of my fingers but yeah unfortunately it still is on the nails it's not something that you can notice like from this distance you can't tell it's just when I'm looking up close and kind of just like feeling them I know that they're there so that is definitely the downside with these nails if you are not a glue on nail expert I definitely am not there is room for some error there and just for the final result to not turn out perfectly but I still think it looks good and I definitely prefer this to the Impress Press-On Manicure. That one I think was just a little bit more noticeable that they are press-on nails. And these I think, I don't know, I think they just look a little bit more realistic. They still are not the same thing as getting acrylics done in the salon, but I think for the price and just convenience of being able to do it yourself, it gets you close enough, in my opinion. So aside from that glue issue and the fact that I feel like I couldn't find a perfect match for a lot of my nails, I do still think it's a really great option for a glue on manicure and probably the best I have seen. Such cute colors, love that you can choose different shapes if you want to, like, they definitely got that right. And I love the fact that this is something that is sturdier for me than a press-on manicure. Of course it should be because you're using glue, but those press-on nails only lasted like maybe at max three days for me, which that is not worth the effort, even though it's very low effort to put on press-on nails. I might as well just paint my nails in that case. So love that these are sturdier and last longer. It definitely makes it more worthwhile in my opinion. So I would absolutely love to see a better size selection from Static Nails, but aside from that, I really don't have any other complaints. I think it's a great option for a glue on manicure, the best one I've seen. $16 is definitely a fair price point in my opinion, I think for the quality of the nails, the color, the fact that you can reuse them, I don't think that's too steep at all. So I would recommend it. I definitely am interested in trying out their nail polishes now. So you guys will have to let me know if you're interested in seeing a Static Nails nail polish review. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I almost spilled those everywhere. If you are, let me know in the comments below. I am definitely going to be doing a video soon on my nail polish favorites because I just love nail polish so much. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and click on that notification bell. It really helps me out and supports my channel, and I also upload three to five days a week, so you definitely don't wanna miss out on my next video. If there's anything else you would like to see from me next, leave that request in the comments below. Otherwise, my next video will be up in a few days. So until then, I hope you have a great few days. Why does it always start storming when I'm about to film?